Well, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And did you all get a chance to read the blog this weekend? Yes. yes. Now we have the big question for you. Imagine yourself in the supermarket checkout line. Imagine me as your humble bag boy. And I'm about to ask you, which will it be? Paper or plastic? Which is going to be, class? Plastic. plastic. Yes. You're right. Now, why is that? Now, I know today we're covering the rules, and we're going to get into the federal rules of civil procedure, but we, and we've already covered metadata before, but mainly we're going to redo some of the metadata we've already gone over before, because the main reason has to do with metadata. Now, you have picked plastic. Now, both the paper and the plastic form of production here in this hypothetical I'm going to give you, they each have, let's say, 100,000 emails with 100,000 attachments. They both have that same written content. But since you've chosen plastic, you've gotten something else. Well, let's just see what you've gotten here. Hmm, there's a lot of different things. Uh, oh, look at this. You've gotten hash. <laughs> yeah. uh, not corn beef, actually the hash logarithm. Now, anybody want to uh, kind of volunteer? Of course, you all know it's my pet peeve favorite subject. Why is a hash a good thing to have in your plastic uh, bag here that you get from the ESI supermarket? Anybody? What does hash allow you to do? Allows you to do all kinds of wonderful things like authenticate. Only this particular file has this particular hash mark. Remember that. Hash allows you to know whether someone has tampered with your ESI, has fooled around with the video, for instance. By the way, did anybody see that recent study they did with uh, people who uh, were giving testimony when they rigged a videotape? They actually altered it to show uh, students that uh, make it look like they were cheating. And the people actually watched these students do it, but they altered the tape. And by showing them the altered videotape, they were able to impact like 30 or 40 percent of the students so that they thought they remembered what they saw on the videotape and they accused the, the students of cheating. You didn't see this? I mean, it's, it's incredible. That's why I told you why testimony is so unreliable. It is. I mean, but people remember it can be influenced by things that can be altered, but hash is your protection. So hash you will get in a native file production. You'll get it in plastic. You're not going to find any hash in the paper at all. Another thing that's pretty important is you're going to find Mr. Author. Every metadata field, almost all of the programs have an author may not always be correct, okay? It may be the secretary that made this form five years ago is shown as the author. But you know what? That tells you something, doesn't it? It tells you that this was a form. It gives you information and, and uh, clues as to the background of that document. Guess what? Flat paper doesn't say who the author is. You have no idea really who wrote it. Maybe it says by in the memo, but maybe it was actually prepared by a, a young associate. You'd be able to tell if you had the author metadata. So that's another thing you get in plastic. Now this is really sweet. You get connections. Okay, the Brain Gillespie case we talked about, what really got the insurance company all upset is they got 100,000 emails and 100,000 attachments and they didn't know what went with what. Connections, it tells you that this email had these two attachments to it. So when you look at these two attachments, you know out of the 100,000 emails which one it went to. This kind of metadata of connectivity is critical it's what you don't get that can really drive you nuts if you get a paper production, is you get a pile of email, a pile of documents, you're not sure what goes with what. Very important metadata. Here's another one that I think is my favorite, and that is time. Right? <laughs> when was this last open? When was it created? It's not a bad spice either. Time is critical. Paper documents don't shout out and say, I was printed on April 3rd, 2010. You know, it doesn't happen. Uh, there's all kinds of time information that you're going to get in plastic. You're just not going to get it in paper. So remember time. That's another important metadata. Here's one of my favorites, file name. You see one of the cases we talked about, we had five cases in this week's blog. They actually produced uh, in PDF 
it was searchable, but they had no file name, so they got numbers, one through, what was it, uh, 170,000 or something. I mean, did you know file name is not part of the file? That's part of metadata that the operating system assigns to the different computer files. It tells you what the name is that you, the user, create. That can be an important bit of information to know what did the creator of a document, a spreadsheet, PowerPoint, or whatever, what did he call it? Did he call this key information to, to the board? You know, that might be an important bit of information that you would like to know, as opposed to number 1322, which is what you get if you don't get the name metadata. So that's another important metadata field that you need to have. This one, of course, is critical. Searchability. You've got to have searchability. If you don't, I mean, you just have dead tree papers. It's just poor associates, paralegals, clerks, just going through millions of pages. This, the computer will go through it very quickly. Of course, just having searchability, as we saw in that one case, without having the other metadata, is still going to be kind of limited, because you want it to search things like author. You want it to know, okay, show me all of the emails, all of the ones that were to uh, Joe Blow, and it does it. Uh, so searchability, though, is a, a wonderful feature of the uh, computer age, computer files. So to take computer files and get rid of the searchability feature of it, the ability to index it, you can index it on the fly, which some people say is more accurate but a lot slower, or you can have indexes created of the whole document collection. It's much uh, faster to search it that way. Some people say it's not as accurate, but regardless, this feature of electronically stored information is critical. You only get it in plastic. Uh, another thing, and I think really my favorite, is you get the original location. You know, this is really, mm, this is a tasty thing. This is, you know, where did these files come from? Did they come from a subdirectory that was called confidential secret hush hush, you know? Did it come from a, a, a directory they had in their email called hot documents? You know, where did it originally come from? This is metadata. This file directory location is can be critical information. It's something you want to get. It's the reason why, going back to our technology chapter, you don't want to get just plain old MSG production of emails where you get 5,000 emails just as separate files. You want to get a PST collection of emails where it's all nicely organized according to four folder structures so that it's like if you were looking at an Outlook email, those of you who've used a, a, a program like that, you're creating different directories and you are filing them in the different directories. That's important to know how the witness filed it. It's the difference in the paper world between just getting a pile of documents and not getting the folders that they were originally put in, right? You want to know what the manila folders were, what names did they have on that, how did they organize their files. This original location metadata tells you all that's very important. There's actually a whole lot of other metadata in there, but you know, there's only so much I want to carry around with me. Now, let's see what's on conversely in the paper production. One thing that you're just going to love, and that is spam. <laughs> yeah. You know what? There's no hash, so you can't search it. You can't denist it. That is, find out the standard programs that you know are junk. So you're going to be reading as one uh, uh, president of an e-discovery company like to say, lawyers spending their time reading what other people had for lunch every day. You know, was it a chicken sandwich today? Ironically, that's what I had today. Uh, but you know, you don't really want to read my email about that. With paper, it's very difficult to sort this out. With electronic, you can automatically sort out the spam. So this is, is, is what you're going to get in paper production. Otherwise, what else do you think you're going to get? Spam, 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 spam.